Guys, there have been so many learning opportunities with this one piece and I couldn't be more proud. I'm so stoked on, on how it turned out. Hey Kiki, how are you? Count them, six points right there, baby. Look at this, one, two, three, six. I am gonna try to do something really crazy. And I'm a total pull cue noob, total pull cue noob, but I'm gonna see if I can add some pizzazz to these points. Do you see these points? I'm gonna try to add some outlines, some veneers. I'm gonna try to use construction paper. It's gonna get weird. Come join me. First things first, really thin slices of wood. Check this out. This is purple heart that I have chopped up. Look what a purple heart looks like after it's been freshly chopped. It gets mad. It turns brown. All right, what we've done is we've made these like little one inch tubes and we are going to make really thin like pepperoni slices on the band stuff. Hey, who just ran this entire thing, set up the tripod and everything and then didn't press record? This guy. All right, I just ran this through. Just take my word for it, it happened. I've never run something so thin through the uh, band saw before. I am in shock at how straight and flat it is. However, I'm not gonna lie, it might be a little too thin. Look, the point of it is to be like an outline. I mean, it's like a veneer. I just basically cut my own veneer on accident. I think I wanted something a little thicker, but I'm not gonna redo it for science. We should keep this. No, you know what? No, it's not too late. I'm gonna go back season. and I'm gonna make it just a hair thicker. All right, are you actually recording this time? I'm blown away by how straight these pieces are. Yeah, that's more in line of what I was envisioning. It's thin, but not too, too thin. Now I just need to cut like a million of these because these are basically gonna be stacked on top. I've never done this before. This is getting crazy, y'all. Man, these are clean, but these aren't like tables all clean. So I'm gonna do like a really, really, really light pass of sandpaper, something light because I definitely don't want to influence the shape of it, right? I don't want it flattened or anything. So maybe some 320. Just something to soften it up. I'm gonna very timidly do this. I really don't want to mess up the uh, the contours here. I just need to, this feels wrong. I need a belt sander for this. This is not good, you guys. Good morning. It is bright and early Saturday. I just put two pieces of black paper, glued them together for thickness and then put them into this little makeshift press. It's been sitting here for quite a while now. Marcy is outside hunting lizards. So that's good. So I think what a lot of people use is like ebony wood for these um, or veneers. Man, pricing them out, especially at this early stage, building cues, it's just, it's too expensive for very possible, very likely mess ups. Cause I've messed up so many cues, like straight into the trash. So I can't be risking. Besides, I have a hunch that once you put epoxy and a UV coating on top of it and give it that nice like auto shine sheen to it, that treatment, I don't think you're gonna be able to tell anyway. So I think it's, it's just gonna be perfect. All right, this has been in the oven for an hour. And by oven, I mean just getting squished. Yeah, that's perfect. Just to give you guys a quick recap, a quick update on what we're doing here. We've carved out these little V grooves right here. You can see it from this point of view. We've also made a bunch of these, like a bunch of them. We have one, two million, right? We have small ones and then long ones. Eventually these things are gonna go in here like so. They just slide in perfectly. And then eventually once they're glued in like that, put them in a lathe and then you shave it down and erase all of this excess. And then you have these really cool filled pockets, right? Okay. But who wants to put a maple block inside of a maple piece of wood? That would be pointless. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some lines. That's why we cut out these uh, purple heart veneers. They're gonna go in like so. And then eventually it's going to be two lines, a purple heart line, a black paper line, followed by this. Allegedly. First layer added. It's gonna be like a little cake. Yeah, we got the glue nice and spread on. Let's add the first layer of purple heart. Now the other side, the exact same way. Got three made, that'll be perfect. Now let's clamp them up and dry them. Now the next step is, Kiki. Guys, so the next step is we need to shave off this little excess. So we have the router table in the garage and we've uh, set up a um, trim flush router bit. I think that's what it's called. Pretty cool. It occurs to me now, now that I'm looking at this, that I've basically just made some corn dogs from maple and purple heart. Delicious. We have black cardstock paper and we are gonna cut it down to 1.25 inches strips. It is incredibly thick, so I have to run it back and forth a few times, but let me 
Now we're basically gonna do the exact same thing that we just did with the purple heart, except we're gonna do it with this black card stock. One layer on every side, one, two, three, four. And maybe you can start to see what's gonna happen now. You see that these uh, indentions right here, if these lock in like so, and then once I peel them away, what's left is going to be one thin black line, one thin purple heart line, and then a filler of maple, allegedly, hopefully. I have to tell you guys, this hobby making pull cues is absolutely bonkers. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Three days now I've been working on this project and this isn't even just a pull cue. This is one tiny section of a pull cue. And I will not know until maybe tonight if all of this was a waste or not. And if it is a waste, there's no salvaging it. It's going straight in the garbage. That's so much money and time and energy and hope wasted. And I haven't showed it on camera, but I can't even tell you how many pieces of pull cue I've thrown in the garbage because it just didn't work out. Like there's a chunk missing or I miscalculated something or the CNC ate it. I keep telling myself it's fun because every once in a while when you get it right, it's the best, most satisfying feeling in the world. But in the meantime, Dude, I have to come to peace with the fact that sometimes there are mess ups. That's okay. All right, it's time. Let's shave these down and then add the final layer of black and then we're basically done with these massive things. Okay, is this why we don't use paper? Why is it just flapping off in the wind like that? What? All right, I'm gonna kick up the, uh, the router up a notch. Figure this out. If I take a really old, really dull piece of sandpaper, it looks like it does the trick. Just kind of whisks it away. Man, that is really clean though. Good morning world. Good morning. It's a new day, a new bright, fresh day. We have made a bunch of weird corn dog looking things. You can see up close, let me get it in the light. It's a purple heart, it's maple in the middle, purple heart, then black cardstock. I've made a gajillion of these. Now I just need to cut these in half. Right here, right in the middle. So I can't even lay them, I have to hold them. It's a dangerous operation, but we must do it. All right, fingers. Good luck, fingers. Ugh, I'm so strong. Just kidding. Pretty perfect, so this is gonna go right into the groove. And now I can get two out of each one, and that was a pretty easy cut. I mean, it's a little scary, but it's not bad. One million points later. Wow, wow, this is so cool. Man, I love the idea of doing them as a square and then splitting it. Basically, you take the work and cut it in half. No pun intended. We're gonna try a new guy today. We're gonna try this DevCon five minute epoxy. I mean, it's not new for me. I've been using it for ring work, but I just like the tubes, man. I'm gonna try it for points. Maybe it's a terrible idea, but it's okay. First we mix, equal parts, cap it. And we gotta work fairly quickly. Let's start mixing. And again, this stuff gets really hot as it mixes. I don't love that about epoxy. It's super weird, guys, because of the potential toxicity of this stuff. I've uh, blocked off the way for Kiki to come over. And that's what she's been doing for the past hour, trying to break my barrier. I usually just use my finger, grab a big glop, start filling in holes, it's that simple. Nice and saturated, looks good. I'm feeling pretty optimistic about this. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to do the inverse side instead of like in order. A lot of people will use surgical tubing at the very end of it and wrap it around and that kind of compresses it. It acts like a weird clamp that uh, can cover all the points. I've tried it a few times and I don't love it. It just feels weird. I think I'm just, I'm used to woodworking. I'm used to clamps. Double check the points, they look good. Add it in. Hey, babe. Hey. Take this some outside stuff. Oh, cool. I'm recording. Guys, we're just a, a worker family, man. We stay busy. We stay busy all the time with our fun projects. All right, now these guys are clamped in and that gives me time to work on another set. Now I don't have to worry about it knocking out or anything. Yeah, this, uh, this epoxy is getting very warm now, which tells me it's starting to activate. So I'm gonna get two, maybe two more points in before I have to mix more stuff, but that's okay. All right, we are officially at one hour later. I just very carefully unclamped them and now we just wait. I could saw it off now, but let's err in the side of caution because so far we've made it through 4,000 hurdles and it's good. So. I'm gonna tread very carefully. I do not wanna mess something up by being rushed. Good morning, my dude. It's a new day. It is now time to do what I've been dreading and excited about. Let me show you. So we've been working on these points for three or four days now. It's a lot of work and we'll know if there's a mess up in the glue job or in the epoxy job. We'll see, we'll see. It's time. The trick is to shave off just enough in order to enable this. We just want just enough clearance to be able to not bonk. And it looks like I've gotten there. It took a while. 
Sweet. At first, I'm gonna do this manually. I'm gonna cut manually. I'm just gonna jog it. I'm not gonna program it. Right now, I'm just trying to just shave off some of the fat. That's it. All right, now I'm gonna creep it forward until you can hear some. Actually, let me drop it down a little bit. Nerve wracking, yo. Oh, I hear it. I'm gonna back it off just a little bit. That feels a little bit more aggressive to me. Yeah, that feels better. All right, let's go. Yep, aggressive. I'm gonna back it off. The point is, I just wanna feather touch it. Yeah, there we go. So right now, I'm just trying to give it a haircut. Beautiful. Dude, look at what is happening to the construction paper. I mean, it's fabulous. It's awful, but man, it looks cool. It's all like shagged out. Okay, well, we're too deep at this point. Let's just take it all the way down and see what happens. All right, this is the last pass. I need to clean this glass. Hopefully it's good. Okay, this is the moment. It's been four days, and not just four days of like on and off work. I mean like four days of hours and hours and hours and hours of cutting and gluing and cutting and reshaving and re and like it's an insane amount of work to do points. And uh, this is the first time I'm gonna be doing veneers and recuts and all sorts of things because I've, I've made the simple points. I want complicated, fancy points. So here we go, let's go inspect it. Turn it off. If it looks bad, it's just, you know, it's my first attempt. It looks so good. <laughs> it looks insane. Wow, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Holy moly. What's going on with these points? Look, okay, so this isn't max. Uh, this isn't the, the final size. I'm gonna be shaving quite a lot off of it because I uh, oversize it. So these points will be interesting. Maybe some Google searches will show up how I can fix points that are just a little cattywampus. It might not even need a fix once I shave it down to size, but oh my gosh. So we have a maple butt inside of that. We have cardstock, black cardstock into purple heart into more maple. Wow, that is so cool. All right, onto the forearm. Oh my gosh! We are onto the big guy now. Weird, because of the frame rate of the camera, it looks like it's spinning really slow. In actuality, it's spinning really fast. It's like Moment of truth times two. Let's go ahead and turn this guy off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let me pop it off so I can get a good look at it. Oh my gosh! Dude, it looks so good. I am in shock, I'm so proud. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no! I lost a big old chunk of purple heart. Just on one point, too. Hmm. You know what? I'm not against painting this. I'm not even kidding. I'll paint this so quick. I don't know what I'm gonna do about those goofs or why it happened. Oh, thank you, Key. Never give up, never surrender. Here we go. Don't splinter. Don't splinter. This is nerve wracking. Dude, that actually worked. This little dark deviation right here is just epoxy. There, you can see the split was right there where my thumb is. I mean, it, it, there's a little color variation, but that's fine. Like it went from going in the trash to having a little character. Like I'm not selling any of these cues. I mean, maybe if I was actually putting this up for sale, it would go in the trash or it'd be unacceptable. But man, I'm totally stoked on this. This is all for science. This is all for learning. Kiki, you agree? Guys, there have been so many learning opportunities with this one piece and I couldn't be more proud. I'm so stoked on, on how it turned out. Hey Kiki. How are you? Just purr, purr McNasty over here. I think she's proud of this thing too. This may not feel like a complete piece. Like why are you capping the show here? But for me, it's a complete piece. Like this is what I achieved. This is what I was striving for. Something new, out of my comfort zone. Yeah, I I'm really excited. I hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to actually put this thing into a real queue.